I'm not being hyperbolic when I say this video is going to change your life and solve all your problems. So let's get started. So one of the most helpful things to know as a fiddle player is how to learn by ear. Look at my plants. They're so cute. I mean like, look at this. Look at this guy. Right, so learn by ear. So if you've been in the fiddling scene for a while, you've probably been in various jam sessions and workshops where people kind of expect you to be able to pick things up just by listening to them. And it's a really great skill to have, but it can feel really mysterious and very intimidating. I know it was for me, but it doesn't have to be. Basically what you're doing when you're learning by ear is listening to something and being able to translate what you hear into the mechanics on the fiddle. And that's a skill that you can build. It's sort of like a muscle. So we're gonna talk about how to do that. There are two big general categories of how we learn tunes by ear. The first is by call and response in sort of small chunks. And when I do my fiddle lesson videos for Patreon, I do the call and response method. So you'll play a phrase like this, and then you'll try and play it back. The other is the session style. And in this context, you're hearing the tune played through a bunch of times, um, sometimes slowly, but sometimes fast if it's in a real jam session that's going along at full speed. And you're basically trying to jump in and hang on. You're looking for an on-ramp into the tune so that you can get on the highway. That one can be a little bit more intimidating for people, but it is still within your grasp. Most of the tips I'm going to be talking about today are helpful for both the call and response style and for the session setting. I have five tips today, mainly because five is a really nice number of tips to have. I had like six, but I'm calling one of them a bonus just so that we have five. Tip number one, and I know this won't be everybody's favorite tip, but I do think it's important to know your scales and your arpeggios. There are a couple reasons it's good to know your scales and arpeggios, even if it's not that fun. The first is that it tells you where your fingers are going to be placed in your left hand. So for example, if you know that a tune is in D major, like the Silver Spire, which is the tune we're focusing on this month, then you know that your fingers are going to be in these positions, the positions for the D scale. On the E string, that means a low second finger, a G natural. So it just means that you know the options of where your fingers could possibly land on the strings. The other reason it's good to know your scales and arpeggios is that a lot of tunes have scales and arpeggios. So if you're already familiar with them, you can recognize them in the tune. So arpeggios are the one, three, five, and one of a scale. And in the Silver Spire, we actually have something that's close to an arpeggio right at the beginning. It goes like this. There's an arpeggio. So if you already know your arpeggios, you know that's what's happening. There are also a ton of scales in the Silver Spire. In the B part, it goes like this. That's essentially all scales. And a bonus thing that you can know in addition to your scales and arpeggios is the sound of various intervals and how to make those on the fiddle. You can actually practice that. You could record for yourself playing a bunch of different intervals on the fiddle. You could do them out of order. play back the recording and try to imitate those on the fiddle. That just develops your ability to hear an interval and be able to play it. Tip number two, if it's possible, know what the tune sounds like before you start learning it. If you know what a tune is supposed to sound like, then you know what you're shooting for. It's so much easier if you can hear it in your head and then be able to translate it on the fiddle. So you're not hearing something completely for the first time and trying to also figure out how to create that sound. So when I can, I listen to the fiddle tune I'm going to be learning a whole bunch of times beforehand. One of the best ways to internalize the sound of a tune is actually to sing it to yourself, even if you're not a singer. It doesn't have to sound that great. You can do this in the privacy of your own home if you want. If you're in a jam session setting and you don't have a chance to listen to the tune a bunch beforehand, just make sure that you're not trying to chime right in right at the start. 
listen through the tune once or twice before you actually start playing it and see if you can start to get a sense of the shape of the tune. Tip number three, start small and slow. Learning by ear really is like exercise. You have to build it up very slowly over time and it's really okay not to start by running a marathon. A lot of big machinery around here today. So what I recommend is starting with listening to small parts of tunes, just small chunks. You can do this like on YouTube or with learning recordings. I have a lot of learning recordings over on patreon.com slash music. And also listen to tunes being played slowly. You can usually slow down tunes. Um, if you have an mp3 of them, you can use the amazing slow downer, which is an app. Or on YouTube, you can actually set it to 50% speed so you can listen really slowly. So if you're listening to The Silver Spire and trying to learn it by ear, start with a chunk like this. Honestly, you can start there. Or you can start with this. No need to rush. Each time you do one of those small chunks, you're getting better and better at hearing the tune and translating it onto the fiddle. Tip number four, get comfortable with trial and error. It's really okay to make as many mistakes as you want as you're trying to translate a tune that you hear into one that you play. It's par for the course. I flub tunes I'm learning all the time. So when you listen to a small chunk of the tune like this, take some time to go turn off that internal critic. I like to think about mistakes as neutral information. One of my amazing violin teachers taught me that once. Instead of each time you make a mistake thinking, ugh, I'm never gonna learn by ear, I'm terrible at learning by ear, this is all pointless, you can think, oh, I'll try that again. Honestly, practice that. Take it from me, your fiddle therapist. If you're in a jam session setting where there's a lot of playing around you, it's a good idea to actually do that on the quiet side. I will actually kind of let my bow just float across the top of the strings so that it's not disturbing people too much. And tip number five, and this is mostly for when you're in a jam session setting, learn a small chunk of the tune when you're hearing it go through a bunch of times and grab onto that chunk of the tune and then slowly start to add on to it. So for example, if you got the arpeggio at the beginning, the tune comes around, play just that chunk, and then mess around with what comes after that. And get just kind of the general shape and gist of the tune. Gradually you'll be able to add a few notes on to the end of the chunk that you already know. You might be just getting this. leave you with this idea that I think is really helpful. The more time you spend with your fiddle, playing your warm-ups, learning tunes, just playing, the more you're going to develop what um, I once heard referred to as a familiar access to your instrument, which just means that you know which fingers produce which sounds, and so you can start to listen to things and even just envision and feel where your fingers are going to have to go. It's a little magical, but that only happens with a lot of quality time with your fiddle. This is your new best friend. All right guys, that does it for this month's fiddle focus video. I hope you found it helpful. If you want to vote on the topics for these videos, you can join my Patreon page, patreon.com slash music. There are also tons more videos over there that are Patreon exclusive and sheet music and learning recordings for a bunch of tunes, variations, and harmonies. I do a tune a month, so if you subscribe, you get a new fiddle tune each month that we dive real deep into. So I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon for another fiddle video. Have a wonderful day and happy fiddling. Bye. Oh, and P.S. Here's the whole tune. It's called The Silver Spire, and it was last month's fiddle tune on my Patreon page. Here's how it goes.